welcome to another edition of Ask Nat. So this week we have a question coming from a mom who's inquiring about the sleep situation for her seven month old twins. She writes, My twins are going on seven weeks old and they only sleep in their swings. I lay them down asleep on the crib but they're awake and crying within 20 minutes. Is this normal? How can I transition them to sleeping in their crib? First of all, yes, it's normal. Do not get uh, too worried. It's normal if that's the way that they have been sleeping in there in the first place. So you have to remember that there is no normal for them. It's whatever we create for them. Your first option is, can you move the swings into the room where they're gonna be sleeping? That way, when you move them eventually from the swings to the crib, they already got used to sleeping in their room. So they're used to the sounds, they're used to the light, they're used to the temperature, they're used to the environment that their cribs are gonna be in. Second choice, just go for it. Just take them out of their swings and put them in their cribs and let them rest. What does the doctor say about crying it out? Yes. I know it's a controversial topic. I'm just asking, I'm not saying that I'm for it or against it, but you should know what your options are. If you aren't a big fan of crying it out, I totally understand that, but it's always nice to know what your options are. So speak to your pediatrician and see if just putting them in their cribs and letting them cry for a little bit is an option for you. We have a really good friend here at Twiniversity and her name is Kim West and she wrote this really good book called The Sleep Ladies Good Night Sleep Tight Book. It's got a ton of tips and tricks on getting your kids to sleep no matter whether it's transitioning from a swing, a bouncy seat, your arms, a co-sleeper, a pack and play, whatever. There are a ton of tips in here. All right, I have another question to ask you. Why are they sleeping in their swings? Are you feeding them and then putting them right in their swing? So when you put them in their swing, are they super drowsy like I am after Thanksgiving dinner? Maybe if you make a slight modification and feed them and then put them in their crib instead of putting them in their swing and then the crib, maybe that's an option too. Another thing that you might wanna do is when they're sleeping in their swings, are the swings in motion? And if the swings are in motion, you may wanna start weaning them off of that motion. So start turning the dial down on the swing to slower, 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 until the swing is at a total standstill, and then it's gonna be easier to move them from the swing to the crib. Do your babies have reflux? Because if they have reflux, the swing may be really, it might actually be better for them because they're sleeping on an incline. So once again, talk to your doctor and let her know that right now they're sleeping in the swing, you're transitioning them to a bed and make sure that if they do have reflux that this is okay with your doctor. So think about, when are you going to transition them from the swings to the crib? Are you gonna start today? Are you gonna start this weekend? Have a plan of action and remember to be consistent. Consistency is the key here, peeps. Whether it is sleeping, feeding, going outside, holding hands, looking both ways before you cross the street, no matter what, stay consistent and you should be successful. Good luck and sweet dreams. I hope these tips and tricks helped you. You definitely wanna make sure that you check out our book, What to Do When You're Having To. It's got plenty, plenty, plenty of information on sleep. And then of course, check out Kim's book and they're both available on amazon.com. So make sure you grab them and I hope that these tips helped you and I hope that you have a wonderful night's sleep.